Hello, and welcome to the Movie Universe. I'm your host, Movie Fan. Today, I'm going to be talking about Indominus Rex, or Insidious Rex, as I prefer to call it, because of its horrible, insidious nature. Now, Jurassic World has been out for quite a while now, and I know a lot of things have come up that are no secret about the show and about what happened throughout the entire trilogy. However, there is one detail about the Indominus Rex that I have to address. I've come up with a theory about it, one that, to the best of my knowledge, no one's ever thought of before. Now, we all know the Indominus Rex, or again, Insidious Rex, as I prefer to call it, is very intelligent. It's huge. It's a mixture of all kinds of dinosaurs. It's basically a hybrid, which is no secret. It's part Velociraptor, which we discover close to the end of the movie. It's been said it's part T-Rex, Majungasaurus, and part Carnotaurosaurus because of its uh, armor plating that it seems to go on its back and head. It wasn't addressed in the movie. It was addressed more like outside the film. During credits done by producers and writers, they said that it was a mixture of all this. And you could tell that it was also part Carnotaurosaurus because... Uh, and, of course, a lot of us have suspected that this monster might actually be part human because this thing was way too intelligent. Case in point, how it came up with a plan to escape. Now, it's been shown in the previous films that the Velociraptors are very intelligent. However, even they weren't this intelligent. That's the problem. This thing deliberately clawed the wall to make it look like it had escaped. And, of course, it hit its body temperature and camouflaged so people would think that it was gone. And when people got in there, it struck and then it got out. Another important thing that proves that this thing has to be part human is its ability to form strategies. For instance, when they tried to recapture it, what did it do? It literally dug out the tracker and left it there for them to find. And it waited for them to come looking for it. And then it just showed itself and attacked. It knew they were going to come looking for that tracker. That's a human trait. This thing has human intelligence. And a key thing here, it remembered where the tracker was planted. And of course, when they find those brontosauruses that it had killed, it didn't eat them. And of course, Owen comes to the conclusion. It's killing for sport. Yeah, and that's a human trait. No animal does this. Some animals will kill another for territory and all that, but... It won't just kill willy-nilly just because. Humans do that. So that's a human trait. And of course, when they tried hunting it down with the helicopter, when it first heard the helicopter go overhead, it knew exactly what that was. And it even formed a strategy to get rid of it. Now, maybe it saw the Avery beforehand. Maybe it was thinking on its feet. We'll never know. But the thing is, it deliberately crashed into the Avery where all the pterodactyls and diamorphodons were held, and it deliberately riled them up to make them fly out and make the helicopter crash. And furthermore, when we finally get a look in the lab, we see spines. And I'm no expert here, but a lot of them look very human. And why would there be human spines? in a lab that designs dinosaurs. I can only think of one reason, human DNA. Now, I'm sure a lot of people have already thought of that, and I think it's pretty much accepted now because this thing was way too intelligent. However, that's not my new theory. My theory is that this monster was not designed to be, well, just another creature in the park. I think this was designed as a weapon of war. I'm sure a lot of people caught that close to the end, one character, Vic Hodgkins, who wanted to use the raptors as weapons. We see him looking at a computer, and it's in, and of course it's Insidious Rex, and he says... Fraction of the size, deadly, intelligent, able to hide from the most advanced military technology. A living weapon unlike anything we've ever seen. And even beforehand, he does give some indication that he knows very well what this creature's capable of. Because... When they get the word that it's broken loose and all of that, he literally says this before he calls InGen. They're going to learn all kinds of things about their new asset now. So he knew very well what it was. And, of course, he made it very clear that Dr. Wu worked for them the whole time. And, let's not forget, 
Dr. Wu literally made the same mistake twice with frogs. Because as you remember, in the first film, they uh, used the DNA of frogs to complete the code. But apparently what they didn't know, or maybe it was recently discovered, I can't quite remember, that some frogs can actually change from male to female and maybe back again. And that's how the dinosaurs were able to, well, start laying eggs. With this one, there was a frog that could literally hide its temperature. And he knew about this. He did say it. And I think there's kind of a hidden piece of evidence to suggest that Insidious Rex was a weapon of war to kill only people. Because, well, think about this for a second. It's going around. It's killing dinosaurs. It's not eating them. It's not eating anything except humans. Because when it first breaks out of the paddock, what does it do? Exactly. It ate those first two workers. And when they went to track it to try to recapture it, it camouflaged itself and waited for them to come look for it. And as you could clearly see, it's eating the people that are trying to capture it. Oh, sure, it's killing a few too along the way, but it's crunching a few of them down. It's not just killing them. It's eating them. Because think about this for a minute. It's not eating the dinosaurs, but it's eating people. This thing had to have been designed to only eat people. Because clearly it's got a taste for human flesh. It does not have a taste for dinosaurs. Now, I know some people might ask me, well, what about its sister? It ate it. Well, Assuming that this was made with human DNA, and I'm pretty sure I'm right about that, well, its sister had to be part human as well, right? So, it ate it. Like I said, this thing was designed as a weapon of war. So what do you guys think? Do you think Insidious Rex was designed as a weapon to eat only people? Or do you think that Dr. Wu just really, 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 really screwed up? Let me know what you think. This is Movie Fan, signing off.